All right, YouTube, what's up? This is Michael Nix with It's APK Time. And today, not that I have looked, there may be others out there, but I'm going to show you how you can set up any Morpheus TV clone to be one click. Set Morph any Morph TV clone app, set it up as a one click app. And I'm sure this will benefit a lot of you guys. Because as some of you may know, that these Morph TV clones, by default, when you install them, um, are told to search for links. And you sit there and you wait, if you wish, to wait for all these links to generate before you get around to finally being able to click one that you feel will be stable enough to watch and enjoy your movie. So today I'm going to show you how to change some settings and make your Morph Morpheus TV clone uh, one click and make things a little more faster to get started with your entertainment for tonight. So anyway, I want to open up Morph TV here and we're going to jump straight into settings. Now well, the way I have things uh, set for the player is uh, all 30s. Um, for your buffer for playback, minimum buffer size, and for your max buffer size. Now, uh, we're going to jump back and go to autoplay. So in autoplay, I have, for movies, you want to enable that. And then for preferred quality, I don't set a preferred quality because then I may not find what I'm looking for in the quality that I want. So, I usually pretty much leave that blank for myself. You may want to select a preference. You can do that. So now the next thing we want to do is go into preferred host and you want to make sure that all these hosts are selected if you wish just to be sure that the app scrapes every one of them to try and find the movie or show that you want. So there we go. Now, you may not want torrent selected unless you're using a VPN because even though you're not downloading the, the content, a small portion to uh, help provide the streaming is being downloaded and your ISP or copyright holders may detect that as still downloading the content. So anyway, let's just go ahead and knock that out. Now we're going to go down to prefer fast sources. You can choose that if you wish. That will give preferences to any links that are in green. That may or may not be HD. If your preference is HD, and you may get a really crappy standard definition source. So I would not have that checked, but you can if you wish. Uh, enable autoplay for TV shows. That will automatically play uh, once one episode to the next. Um, no, I don't think that's the way that one works. Again, you can set your preference for your quality, your preferred host. Again, make sure you have everything checked off. Don't want to leave anything out for finding your content. Select OK. Uh, omitting the torrent, torrent checkbox again. Um, prefer fast sources. I'm going to uncheck that because, again, I want it to find the best link for me as opposed to um, what may be HD or not HD. So, next, so then after we finish that, we're going to go down to subtitles. I'm not a big subtitle fan. I want to watch the movie, not read the movie. So, some of you may, uh, have your preferences for this and you can set this how you wish uh, providers um, now if you're on the fire stick I would say six would be pretty good on your Android tablet and other mobile devices you can uh, choose four six or whatever number you wish these are um, defaults um, as far as my fire stick is I have Fire Stick set to 6, and then Individual Threads is 40, and Global Search Timeout is 120. Now, you got sources here again that you can um, enable all of. 
except for Streamlord. Streamlord is uh, login. I'm going to disable the main one for that. I don't have an account with Streamlord. The rest of them uh, you can enable, and we will be done there. Now, uh, sources, you can group this how you want. Let's try this under quality and see what this does. Max sources, uh, as far as on my fire stick goes, I have max sources as five. So let's do that. You can verify sources if you want. Um, that can make scraping uh, take a little bit longer to complete. Uh, verify timeout in seconds is 25 on my fire stick and then again we have all these uh, selected so then we're going to go back um, not messing with downloads is not something that I think we should do um, torrents not messing with torrents and notifications um, you can show a main notification and as you see it says if you are using a Chromecast because the HTTP server running is the service might get killed by the system while casting. Okay, so show notification for files currently downloading. Also, uh, I'm not going to go there. So, anyway, we are going to go back and now we're going to test this out and see what we get. So let's jump into popular and we'll just shoot the first one that we come to in there, and that is Deadpool. And we'll just look and see how fast it takes for this to uh, find a link and start playing it. And as you see, it didn't take very long at all. You can tap your screen or use your remote to select your screen and see that it is playing a high HD uh, link, 720p Blu-ray. So, in my opinion, that is going to look very good as far as your device goes. Now, if you're using a big, giant 55-inch, 60-inch TV, that may not be good enough for you. But for most users, it will be more than enough to uh, be to look smooth and even and uh, not extremely pixelated. So, anyway, you see it's playing. There's no stuttering, no buffering. I'm going to stop right there. That was a little bit too long. And then now you can see exactly which link it pulled from, and that was from Putt Lockers. And putt lockers is a yellow coated link. However, I don't think that you would have very much problems with that. So anyway, and I'm just going to have to say I believe that that's it. The same thing is for your uh, TV shows. Go to a popular TV show. Let's use Game of Thrones, and we're going to choose the first season and see if we get a hit because that is the oldest of the seasons for Game of Thrones and let's just see if we get a hit and then we'll be done and we did get a hit and it's going to take advantage of that 30 second pre-buffer time before it begins uh, the, bit, the show and Hopefully, it's a decent link. Boom, and there we go. And it looked like it was very good quality. So, let's go back and back and back. All right, guys. So, I hope you found this video helpful um, for using uh, Morph clones, such as Morph Morpheus clones, such as Morph TV, uh, Phoenix, Black Panther. You know, there's several out there for your um, choice and preference. So don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That would help me and the APK Time app owner out a lot. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell us if there's an app that you enjoy using that is not an APK Time. List down below in the comments what apps you would like to see in APK Time. It could be streaming. It can be uh, system tools. It can be... Uh, uh, torrent downloader apps it can be vpns um just whatever it can be cody forks if there's a cody fork that you know of that we do not have uh list that down below i'm sure that would be useful to others uh, new or veteran to the apk time app and uh we'll see you in the next video peace